If you want to create more content, then this is going to be a great video for you. I'm gonna share with you some of the tricks and tips that I've learned from creating daily content, at least one piece a day, but typically two to three pieces a day of original content so that you can grow your brand or your business a lot more easily. Let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here. I also vlog about growing my business. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business, be sure to subscribe. That way you can get updates on how to use digital marketing. And um, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you ever have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, be sure to comment below. All right, let's talk about content creation. Content creation is no longer a luxury that you, you can't like, you can't exist without content now. You need to, as a business, be creating content. I think that if you're not creating content for your business to engage with your clients and customers and your potential prospects, you will be going out of business in the near future. And the reason for that is your competitors are creating content. You have to keep up, you have to engage. Now content, people think a lot, a lot of times, oh man, that's, that's terrible. Now we have to go out and create content. What a bummer. But, but the truth is that content is the tool that lets you communicate with your clients and your customers at scale. So if you're busy and you want more customers, there's nothing better in my opinion than content that's going to drive your clients and customers to offers that will at the end of the day, drive more revenue to your business. So how can you create content if you're extremely time strapped? I have a few suggestions for you and I've been creating tons and tons of content in 2019 and so I have experience in this, in that I'm running a full-time agency. I'm a father of three. I'm married, I'm busy, right? I'm super busy. Time is at a premium. So how do you create content when you're time strapped? That's what we're gonna talk about here. So the first thing that you need to do, number one, is that if you go and say, okay, I need to create something today, what is it going to be? It's difficult to come up with that and to, to think, especially when you have a million other things on your mind. You're like, oh, I have to do this, 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 this. Plus, what should I make today? I'm not sure. You need to plan it out. Um, so I actually created a tool, it's called the Digital Marketing Planner. If you want to go and buy it, you can go to Amazon and search my name, or I'll link it in the description below. And, and if you want to, you can check that out. I find it's a helpful tool for myself. But if you are, you just have a, a piece of paper and a pencil, write down content ideas. If you're not sure what to talk about, what are the most common questions that your clients and customers are talking about? What are some of your competitors talking about? Is there anything in the news that you can use? What is going on in your business? What can you show in your business? Creating content isn't difficult. It, it needs to be things that are both useful for you and your customers and your clients. But it's hard to think about it as you're going, especially adding it on top. So plan it out, figure out what you're gonna talk about, and then make it non-negotiable. Set up a time in the day, every single day that you're going to do content and put it out and publish it. So that's tip number one is to plan it out. Don't wing it every day because if you just wing it, it's not going to end up very well. It's typically not going to be too high quality and it's probably not going to serve a purpose. So make sure it serves a purpose in your business to segment and to attract the right kind of customers and things like that. The second piece of advice that I have is repurpose your content. So if you make a video, make sure that you use it in blog posts, make sure that you use it in podcasts, make sure that you use it as much as possible. Reusing content is very, very helpful, especially if you're time strapped and you can take a longer piece of content, specifically video, and chop it up into smaller pieces. Gary Vaynerchuk is somebody who does this really, really well. I love how he does it. And what's interesting too, is that he will take a single piece of content and then he'll record custom intros for each one of the platforms so that it seems like he's creating specific content for Facebook, specific contract for Instagram, specific content for LinkedIn and his podcast. So making sure that you're acknowledging each one of the different platforms so that it feels like it was created just for that is I think really, really genius. And it allows you to take a single piece of content and then reuse it as many as like 20 times. So chop it up, use it and, and use it to promote to your website, use it to send people to different social properties that you have, reuse it for email, become creative with how you use your content that you created and then make sure that you're creating it um, act, actually pushing it out and showing people on these different platforms. Because if you create something but then never show people or talk about it, it's typically not gonna get seen and so it's just a waste of time. The third tip that I have is to create a good mix 
of funnel type content. So we have top of funnel awareness, middle of funnel evaluation, and bottom of funnel conversion. Make sure that you're not just creating, you know, how-to videos or content that's good for generating awareness. You need to also be creating content that's pushing people into offers, pushing people into rebuying, re-engaging your current customers, and doing things like that. So if you have something that you want to sell, make a piece of content around that and be sure to use it in a way that's going to help you sell something. You don't just have to make content to give information. You can use content to sell things directly. The fourth thing that I think is really important is if you see something that's happening over and over again in that like you have an onboarding process or if you have frequently asked questions that come up all the time or if you have things that clients keep bugging you about, if you could create a piece of content that solves those problems, you're gonna make life a lot easier for yourself in the future. So I'll give you an example. So let's say you have clients like I do, which are AdWords clients. If there is typical common questions when they're starting you know, their, their ad campaigns. So like, for example, if, if I created a video that I sent preemptively to clients and it's how long does it take for your AdWords to start showing up before when they're launched, basically, right? So how long does it take for approval of ads to happen? How many clicks should you expect in the first week? How much, you know, setting expectations with that too. We can talk about that in videos and use that content so that it will give people proper expectations, educate them, and it'll be me sharing information with them. And using that content will not only help establish my credibility with those clients, but it can also be used to attract new clients and new customers as well. So think about, you know, what are the main problems that we have in the business so that we can use these problems and solve them hopefully with content and then use that content to grow the business as well. Your content should perform like a marketing system for your business. And so anytime that you can create videos that explain problems or that help relieve some stress on salespeople or help streamline the process, you're using this as a system that's gonna grow your business and it doesn't cost you anything except for the time that you invest to create that content. But once you set it up, it's going to run behind the scenes and help you grow your business. So it's really, really valuable. You know, content is one of the ways that people get to know you. And if you're not consistent, you're gonna end up being like the flaky friend who's never around. It's so important that you create content consistently. It's so important that you provide value in advance and continue to provide value through the content and the ways that you reach your clients and your customers. If you don't do this, somebody else is going to jump in and they're gonna do it more consistently and they're gonna steal your clients. Don't let them do that, okay? Be sure to subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss any of the marketing videos that we create here. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Love to know what are some things that you would like to learn in this channel. Be sure to comment with that and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.